Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly, and if you're new to this channel, this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if you're interested in t-shirt designing or anything else print-on-demand, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. So in today's video, we're gonna be learning how to create this design right here. It says dive, 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 and the top flag or the the top dive looks like a dive flag uh, now this is a cool text effect that you can use for all sorts of things but essentially what i have done is create text that has um, different colors throughout the text i can make it go uh, get kind of cut diagonally or cut straight across i can have it half filled in half outlined so this is just a really good example of how you can use this uh, this technique to create some really cool text effects. So if this is something that you're interested in learning how to do, uh, be sure and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank background. I am gonna go ahead and design on black as I prefer to do that. So I'm just gonna change the background color to black. Um, for this design, I am going to show you how you can create text that has different colors in it, how we can sort of create a diagonal cut look through the text or have half outlined text or any of those kinds of things. So a good example to kind of show you for this is I'm going to make a dive design. So I'm just gonna pull up a text box here and I'm just gonna write in dive. Oops. Okay, so I've got my dive. And I'm going to pick a big bold font for this. So. I'm not gonna do anything super creative. I just want something big and bold. So let me just scroll down here. And let's see. So there we go. Here is a big bold font. That one will do very well, okay. So I'm starting here. Now, the way that we're gonna do this is we are going to save several versions of this word. Um, so I'm gonna start by making it red and we're gonna go ahead and save a red version. Now I'm gonna show you a couple things. So I'm gonna save a red version straight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save it as is here. And I'm just gonna do transparent background, download, and we are gonna save this. Perfect. I'm also gonna do one where I make the text at a diagonal and I'll show you the difference here. So make sure you know what you put it at. I'm gonna put this one at 10 degrees. So whoop, right there, that's 10 degrees. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this one too. Okay. Perfect. I'm also gonna make I'm gonna make a blue one, kind of a dark blue one. Yeah, and I will go ahead and save that one in dark blue. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So then I'm gonna make this back to white and I am going to bring it back to level. And so now it just says dive and we are gonna bring up our examples here. So I'm gonna have to upload my dive designs. So I'm gonna upload all three of them here that I saved. So I got a blue one, a red one, and then a straight red one. And I'm gonna show you how each of these looks. So I'm gonna start with the one that I saved that was straight. Now that it's an image, I can go ahead and crop it however I like. Oop. What I wanna do, center back, is have the red on top. And I'm going to bring it out so that it is the same size as the white, so it's overlaid. I'm gonna bring it right up so it's right on top. Now don't worry if it's not perfectly, perfectly lined up because we're gonna put an outline around it. I'll show you how. And by putting an outline around it, it'll kind of hide the edges if it's not 
100% perfect. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to bring it up or down or right or left one pixel at a time if you really want to line it up exact, just like that. So now that I have my red on top of my white, what I can do is take this red one and I can crop it in half if I want to. So let's say I cropped it right in half. Now it looks like dive is um, half one color and half another color. And so that is a way that you can get multicolored text. Now we're cropping it, it's always gonna do a straight line crop. So that's cool if I just wanna have straight lines across, but if I want the line to go, let's say diagonal, then I'm gonna to have to save my image diagonally. So I can show you that here as I pull up the diagonal one that I saved. Okay. So here's my diagonal dive. This one becomes a tiny bit harder to line up because I'm gonna to have to angle it back, but I'm gonna make it same size and then I'm gonna angle it up 10 degrees and that should make it level. And I want this to be on the front, so I'm gonna bring forward. And I'm gonna bring it right up on top if I can here. Do as good of a job as I can lining it up. Again, I can use my little arrow keys on my keyboard to get it really close. Okay, so there it says dive. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it like that. Okay. So depending on where I wanna put it, I can bring it all the way up so that it kind of goes right to the corner of the E. And now we've got a diagonal line going through. So you can see the difference between a straight line going through with this one versus a diagonal line going through here, okay? So let's say I want it to be kind of like a dive flag. Right now I've got it, uh, I've got it kind of angled the wrong way. If I wanted it to go the other way, I would have had to save it where it was angled. Instead of 10 degrees this way, I would have had to have it angled about 10 degrees this way. That way when I cropped it, it would be, uh, the colors would go down like that. So. You know, you can decide how it is you want to angle things. I'm going to go ahead and just go back with this. There we go, dive. Okay. Now I'm going to do it again. Oops, uploads. I'm going to take my dive here and I'm going to do it again. And a good way to make sure you've got the same size is to make it the full width of your page. So I haven't changed the size of the original text at all. When I saved it, it went straight across the width of the page. I'm just gonna make this go straight across the width of the page again. I'm gonna angle it 10 degrees so that it is level right there. I'm gonna bring it up to the top. Bring it up a little bit more, a little bit. And this time I'm gonna crop from the top and pull it right down to the bottom of the D. And there you go. So now I have what looks like a dive flag. And so that is one really cool way to do that. I can also Go ahead and pull up a text box here. And now again, this is gonna be the same text, hopefully, that I used before for dive. It is perfect. So in all caps, I'm gonna write dive again. And I'm gonna pull it up so that it's about the same size. I'll put it right on top. I want it to be about the same size. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Move it over. Perfect. And so now with this font, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to effects and we're gonna do the hollow effect. So when we do hollow, we have now created an outline and you can see the dive underneath. Now I can decide how thick I want this to be. So if I pull this over, it's got a really thick outline. If I bring it down this way, I can make it a pretty thin outline. So just kind of however you want to do it and you can play with it. 
What if I do something like that? Nice thin outline. And that is how you can make um, different colors for your text. I'm gonna do this a couple more times just to create an overall, um, an overall look. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this and now I'm just gonna control D and I have just copied my dive. So I can pull it right down here. I don't think it's, there we go. And I can do that one more time, control D. So now I've got a few copies of my dive. Perfect. So it says dive, dive, dive. I want to make them relatively evenly spaced there. So next I'm going to come over to my saved ones again and I'm going to pull out the blue dive. Oops. There you go. Come. There it is. And I'm taking my blue dive. Oops which I would have liked to have been in front. No problem, I'll send this to back. And I'll send this to back. Now my blue one is in front. I'm gonna do, oops, got two of them. Rid of that, there we go. I'm gonna take my blue one, do the same thing that I did with the red. I'm gonna, oops, gonna make it the same size here. Then I'm gonna angle it 10 degrees, perfect. I'm gonna move it in place over the second dive, right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crop it. And I can do however I kind of want. I'm gonna kind of go halfway through. So I've got it somewhere like, eh, somewhere like that. And on this one, I'm going to take the outline and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the outline the same color as the dive here. Whoop. There it is. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and make all blue. Dive, dive, dive. And effects. I can make this one a little thicker too if I want to. And I actually... Like that. I want to make this darker. Actually, maybe I want to make this one lighter and this one darker because I want it to kind of look like it's going from light to dark. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. It should be pretty easy. I'm just going to pull it down like that. Good. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to take this one. We're going to make we're gonna make the outline a little bit darker here. So let's do the color of the outline a little bit darker. Good, and now let's take the outline and bring it to the front. There we go, that looks cool. Dive, 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 okay. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.